Thank you for logging in for day number five of our Boxes of Love update. Uh, today's a day where teenagers and college students have joined us uh, from Amherst and from Buffalo uh, to be a part of a day experiencing what life is like on the streets of Buffalo. We just left the soup kitchen um, that's a part of this church right here and spent a couple of hours ministering to the homeless and single mothers and families that are, we're eating in this soup kitchen today. Uh, everybody ministered to at least four different people, praying for them and uh, getting to know the, the different people in the soup kitchen. We were having great things happen today. Uh, donations have come in, over $3,000 came in today for boxes of love, uh, which is incredible. Uh, we're having uh, people at the warehouse right now. So as I'm on the street, at this moment, people are at the warehouse sorting through 10 pallets of canned goods and other things that were donated uh, through the Extreme Home Makeover uh, canned food drive. So a lot of great things are happening. Today the media has been here. We're on the front page of the local section of the paper and word continues to go out there about boxes of love. So we, uh, we appreciate uh, you, keep, you continue to pray for this ministry. Well, this group behind me has a message for you today. Today, Guys, what do you want to tell the people? Be a part of Box of Love! Thank you. So, um, Bruce and Julia, what I just wanted to do is um, just interview you quickly because you see a lot of families eating in soup kitchens nowadays. And just wanted to know, you guys, you don't look like you're homeless. You know, you look really great, but um, why? I've seen you here almost every day this week, and just wondered what's maybe you can tell your story, what's um, happening with your family right now, that why you might have to be here. Um, well, by the time we've gotten here, um, we had a problem at a place we were staying, and us being unable to afford to pay for a new security deposit and first month's rent, we had to actually go stay at a hotel for a while. And there is no cooking uh, facilities in the hotel room, so we had to come here until we came to the apartment. Wow. So we're really grateful that it's been here, and it's really close to where we stay, and I don't know what we did without the Wow, good. So what do you guys do for um, dinner later on in the, in the night? It's really good. Lunch here. So. Uh, we, yeah, we actually go to another room. Um, okay. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.